was only one electron in my presence. It was just in all of these places at once or in its superposition. What causes superposition in subatomic particles? This phenomenon is a consequence of the dual particle and wave-like nature of everything. Protons, neutrons, and electrons exhibit particle and wave-like qualities during and after superposition, spread out in space, or fixed, respectively. Let's play one-on-one -on -one soccer with quantum mechanics. And what's the other catch? We are not gonna use this ball. Instead, we are gonna use this electron, just bigger. It is harder because it's in a superposition. To win, kick it constantly so it can spread out. Get it on a targeted spot and lead it to the goal. A closed box contains the following. A radioactive source, a device attached to it, poison, and a cat. When the particle decays, it prompts a series of reactions harming the cat. The cat is now both half alive and dead until the box is open. Schrodinger's cat was merely a metaphor for quantum particles. In reality, only nanoscope things can be in a superposition and collapse when observed. Humans can't be in a superposition because we are too big, and big objects equal more momentum in a shorter wavelength. Our wave nature can be observed. We are made of protons and electrons, but we don't necessarily act like them in our daily lives. Ever tried coin flipping? When you toss it in the air, it has a 50-50% probability it is both heads and tails at once until it lands on a surface and is observed by you. That's how it works. Einstein once said that if quantum mechanics was correct, the world would be crazy. And guess what? He was right. Whatever you do in life, there's always going to be a hundred possibilities happening at the same time. It's up to you to measure the right quantities and observe the right things in order to achieve the outcome that you desire.